What's going on, my beautiful people? Welcome to PR Sense. My name's Jose. So, um, you know, I do rack store fragrances just to find stuff that might be something that you guys might like. And I, I have been lucky and found some good ones. Um, and then, you know, you get some really good ones, you know, light blue and a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, and those are in a case now because I guess they were robbed so much. Um, because they just leave them out and and even still now when I go to a rack store I will find empty boxes everywhere like oh, come on guys come on um, but once in a while you get excited and I, I I saw the this fragrance plus its brother fragrance and I'm like let me get them because I love their ties I love their clothing and their fragrances should be good so this is Joseph Aboud. If you guys are not familiar with Joseph Aboud, Joseph Aboud is a designer house and they make really, really nice clothes. Um, I think they're sold more now online and at the men's warehouse. I've seen them there and I love their ties. I, I just, I've, I have one tie that I literally have had probably for about 30 years um, and I still have it. Um, but then I saw their fragrances. I saw their bespoke fragrance, and then I picked up their mountain fragrance. And, you know, I was not happy with bespoke. So if you guys want to know what I think about mountain, stick around. I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, so like I was saying, um, I found this. Let me just show it to you real quick. Uh, put it back in the box. I saw this one, and I did get bespoke, and then a couple of weeks later, I found Mountain. Um, and I'm like, oh, Joseph Abu, it's gotta be good. It's gotta be good. And so I bought it, um, and it's not expensive. It was like $14.99, which is, should be the first warning you get. Um, you know, a Joseph Aboud for $14.99 for a fragrance. Uh, it's a little, it's a little trickster there. Um, so I bought it anyway, and the bottle's really pretty. Oddly enough, let me see if I still have it. No, I don't. This is the only fragrance that I have ever seen where they put a little packet, you know those uh, moisturizer packets that suck the moisture uh, in? I've never seen that before. Uh, why would a bottled fragrance need a moisturizer packet? Maybe to save the suede that's in there? I'm not sure. But anyway, so I bought it, brought it home, did my research, worn it, um, asked people what they think about it. And I'll tell you, uh, it's nice. I mean, their, their atomizer is okay, it's misty. The scent actually is not bad in the air. Even on the skin, the scent is not bad. But on my skin, on my skin, I'm having the same trouble I had with Tobacco Vanilla by, I think that's Milestone, um, and the same trouble I had with uh, Mercedes-Benz Club Black. I spray it, and literally, 15 minutes later, I don't smell it anymore. It's gone. Um, and I think this is more apropos to, to that. Uh, as far as how it works. Now, the scent is actually very, very nice. The notes are really intriguing. It's got uh, peppercorn, grapefruit, and lemon as its top notes. Then as it starts to dry down, it's got cedar, white jasmine, rose petals. And then at its base, it's patchouli, labdanum, sandalwood, and musk. What you get mostly out of this, let me spray it again, because it's gone. Um, you get that peppercorn, you get a little bit of the grapefruit, and it's a little citrusy. And it actually is a very, very, it's a very, very nice scent. Um, I, I do enjoy the, the initial opening of it, and I like the scent. It gets a little floral with that rose petal and jasmine, um, and then it gets a little musky. Really nice. But guys, it just doesn't last at all. I mean, at all, and I can't recommend to you guys, even at $14.99, to buy something like this. Now, again, 
Fragrances are very selective. So on my skin, they may not work, and on your skin, they may. So if you see it, it's in an open box. Pop it open, spray a little bit, walk around the store, see what you guys think. But, you know, the scent that is nice, a peppery, floral, citrusy kind of scent that doesn't last at all. It, it just doesn't. So I was joking in one of my last videos that I, I won't give, you know, have I ever given a, a fragrance a 0% uh, coffee worthiness? And I won't give this a 0% coffee worthiness because you do smell it. I may get an hour out of it if I'm lucky, but it's a skin scent hour. Um, and then after that, it's gone. This one is more, I would say, versatile. Fall, winter, spring, maybe not hot, hot summers. Um, but this might be something that if you're looking for something for a young kid, you know, a 16, 15 year old that's just starting to get into fragrances, this might not be a bad way to go. Um, Cause you're spending $14.99 on it at the rack store and you know, you don't know what they're gonna like. Uh, they, they may enjoy it they and, and love it. So who knows? But as for an adult, for us connoisseurs of fragrances, if you will, don't bother. It's just not worth it. It's not worth the $14.99, you know, it just isn't, at least for me. Um, but like I said, if you see it, smell it, give it a shot, see what you think. Um, but I can't, in all honesty, recommend it based on the performance. Scent, nice, but seeing that it's a Joseph Aboud and you're, you know, they're trying to charge you on the Joseph Aboud's website like $80 for this thing with uh, two little other things. Uh, it's a ripoff. So I'm sorry, Joseph Aboud. You guys know I love you, but for being an eau de parfum, this thing sucks as far as longevity and projection are concerned. And uh, as far as scent is concerned, you did a decent job. Longevity, projection? Ugh. Anyway, so guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please do me a favor. Oh, wait. How Jose Coffee Worthiness? Let's go with this one. I'm going to give it like a 20 to 30% Jose Coffee Worthiness because, again, the projection sucks. The scent is kind of good, so that's where the 30% comes in. But if you're lucky to smell that scent for like an hour, you know, is it worth it? No, I don't think so. So that's that's what I got for you guys. So please do me a favor. Please comment. Please like. Please subscribe. Do you guys, any of you have this and it lasts longer than what I'm talking about? Do you guys agree with me? Because let me know. I, I need to know. Um, and as always, guys, you guys make sure that you be safe, you be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.